find something? 42 buckets later. <laughs> you find something? I found something. I did. <laughs> Don't look so... I know it's been two days and 40 buckets, but... Don't look so surprised. It was bound to happen. There goes Mike get his camera. I'm going to show you my brokes over here. I've had some almost for sure today. That one there. That one there. That one there. This is a full little tool right there. Look at the base on that one there. That would have been so cool. That preform. Awesome. And then, this ain't a, it ain't a, my pile. Right, look at there, it ain't a million dollar point, but it's a, it's a full point. Oh man, that's a yeah. nice one. Look at there. Heck yeah. It's got a little damage on the side there. Or, it's been no, it's reworked. reworked. <laughs> how yeah. about that? That's Don't make cool. Coke. All right. Ain't that neat how they were, they were going to make it all the way up there and they yep. didn't make it to the tip. Nope. That's cool as could be how they were going to do that. I would have had a perfect arrowhead in another five minutes. Yep. Son of a gun. Well, we got some much needed rain last night. We needed rain all year. And I'm telling you, I've been on such a skunk and roll, it's unreal. I think I went out with Snowflake twice, with Alan once, with Brooksy four times, and by myself twice. And I've got skunked every time. Well, the last time I found a foal was on the, found the Metley blunts. These are just dollar points. I haven't had dollar points for a, long, a lot of the stuff I've found that I just haven't filmed because it's dollar points. But I'm putting these on my side here to sell. They don't have a price tag on them, obviously. They're above. They got a price tag. They're whatever the price tag says. I know I've had a few people been waiting. It just takes me a while to find even the bad ones. I'm not bad, but you know what I mean. So let's go look at the chickies. Since I haven't been finding many arrowheads. Hey, look here. I found a lot of mushrooms today. <laughs> One cherry tomato plant left. Let's go look at the chickies. Update on the chicken farm. Oh my, they become wild animals. Hey, you little duck-footed things, you. There's my babies. They are getting big. Here's my old girls. <laughs> Roxy and Rose. Gilmore. Those are Egyptian, Egyptian famous chickens and those are uh, Milkahamas, Blue Sumatras, and here's Ebony and Ivory out here and Pepper up here beside her and the little banny, the little banny roosters Tim and Tom they're always causing trouble I think these are going to be some of my favorite ones over right here We'll see whoever lays the best egg. All right, and I've been working on a, since all I've been doing is getting skunk lately, I've been working on my arrowhead room. Repainted it, redid it. Took all my, all my hangers off the back of my arrowheads and made a couple giant shadow boxes. Hey, and there's Mr. Welly. He's so pretty. Anyway, basically made two, about two shadow boxes on my wall. And little Bailey girlfriend. Like yesterday and the day before. That was Snake Land. That was the Paw Paw Patch. Yeah. This was a, a Brooksy site. Um, I had a really interesting one right here. Where did it go? Oh, this one here from the Paw Paw Patch yesterday. 
kind of cool how they but yeah nothing but lots of brokes here but let's go into the room okay I didn't make a shadow box for the for the bigger arrow bigger cases and I still have a lot of my favorite stuff in there Some of my later finds or recenter finds from the Harden Hill. Right there. This is just a um, box of cucumber Etleys from Gary. Etley frame. My new frame I made up for the show. I'm not going to take all my frames to the show from now on. I'm going to get two tables and take some of my recent stuff and couple of my really good things. These are a lot to pack around. Anyway, them are all like my Etley cases. All right, I'm gonna pan around to here. And around to here. See what I've done? You can, you can push these right up inside here and then they set right back down. And there ain't no way they can ever fall off your wall. Those I just put a thing of industrial because nobody hardly ever buys woodland, so I don't hardly have to ever take anything down like that. No, oh, that ain't woodland over there. But anyway, and this here wall will probably be the wall that I take with me to the show. Like I said, I I know it's hard to see in here with all the glare, especially this morning. Like these are all later finds from this year. So we're all, almost all, all them. Anyway, and I got one more board to add on the bottom and some more arrowheads to put in there. But that's what I've done. Here's the, I haven't capped them off yet, but that's how it, basically what they look like. Even got to add a little NASCAR flare up there. All right, well, hopefully to goodness. This skunk streak will break soon and I can add some more arrowheads on here. I feel like I, my walls have almost gotten bare later.